Throughout most of history, no special protection has been needed for the ocean or the creatures who live there. But in half a century, things have changed. Half of the coral reefs have been lost or have seriously declined. 90% of the big fish have been extracted. This is a story of whale sharks, the biggest fish in the sea. It's also a story of hope for the sharks, for the ocean, and for the future of people who have come to live in a part of Mexico that wild creatures once had all to themselves. Holbosch Island is a part of the Jean Balam Flora and Fauna Reserve, located in the northeastern corner of Quintana Roo, Mexico. The reserve covers an area of 154,000 hectares, tropical forest, mangroves, and shallow plankton-rich bays. Holbosch Island is, is very important because, not only because it's on the tip of, of the Yucatan Peninsula, because it's on the corner of the Yucatan Peninsula where the, the uh, Caribbean uh, Sea meets the Gulf of Mexico, but because it's a very special and unique uh, ecosystem. The lagoon makes it very special. Now we know that there is an upwelling creating this uh, uh, rich and in nutrient uh, environment which allows a bloom in plankton, producing the, the succession from uh, the phytoplankton, then zooplankton, then the tiny fish being eaten by a little bigger ones and so on, seabirds, sea turtles, dolphins, and whale sharks, manta rays, and so on. So uh, Jumbalam now has a, a big sister, the biosphere of, of the whale shark, because it's also so important that has to be protected as well. Holbosch gives sanctuary to thousands of flamingos, ibis, and other exotic creatures. Despite its incredible bird life, Holbosch is best known for a seasonal visitor, one of immense proportions. Whale sharks. These gentle giants visit Holbosch from early June until late September feed in the nutrient-rich waters. Aggregations of over 400 individuals have been observed in the Agua Azul, slowly grazing on plankton rich with fish eggs. The largest living fish in the world, whale sharks reach a length of up to 10 meters and can weigh over 15 tons. Despite their large size, Whale sharks feed on some of the smallest plants and animals in the sea. When a whale shark's mouth opens wide, it creates a strong surge that vacuums food inside. Sometimes they stop swimming altogether and gently settle into a vertical posture, rhythmically pumping water through their gills, enjoying the planktonic feast. A single gulp, they may engulf more than a dozen major groups of animal life. Dr. Rachel Graham has been working with whale sharks since 1998 and for the past nine years has been tagging the giants with cigar-sized acoustic transmitters which allow her to track their migration through the Western Caribbean Sea. Well, one of the exciting things that we're doing on this particular field visit to uh, the whole Bosch and Isla Contoy area is actually trying to characterize this incredibly large offshore aggregation in the blue water. They appear to be feeding on fish eggs, which is the only second 
a documented instance of whale sharks feeding on fish eggs, the first one being in Belize that was first documented in 1998. And uh, we just put out six satellite location only tags because we want to figure out what are these animals doing here? When are they coming to the surface to feed on the eggs? And where are they moving? Um, at night, where are they moving during the day? And we're already getting some fantastic uh, data back. Well, we at Moat Marine Laboratory have been coming to Holbosch since 1995, working on the sharks of this area. And in 2003, we were told of the whale shark aggregation. We didn't know about this before. Since then, we have been studying these animals with Mexican colleagues, with, with scientists down here in various Mexican agencies. And we've done everything uh, from satellite tag the animals to genetically sample them, put out over 700 visual tags. We're interested in, in the whys behind this aggregation. Why are these animals here? What are they doing? Where are they coming from? And where do they go when they leave? The whale sharks are under the protection of CONAP, Mexico's Natural Commission of Protected Natural Areas. And in June 2009, the Mexican government announced an additional 145,980 hectares as a biosphere reserve right in front of Jean Boulogne, extending its range to connect with the national park of Isla Cantoy. This should help limit tourist boats in the reserve which have grown threefold over the last two years. It was long ago that these animals were fished here at Holbosch. Local fishermen have replaced fishing with ecotourism and now make a lucrative and sustainable business as whale shark guides. Actualmente, toda mi vida he sido pescador, pero actualmente me he estado dedicando a prestador de servicios turísticos. Eh, en esta gama, pues, el trabajo es más descansado y se obtienen mejores economías. Sustainable tourism benefits the local economy and the ecosystem. Whale sharks are worth more alive than dead. En fin, en sí, ahora la vida es diferente. Tenemos mejores casas, eh, nos alimentamos mejor y nuestra economía ha cambiado. Whale shark tourism has been good for the protection of the shark and good for the local economy, but if it grows unchecked, it can have unintended negative consequences. Tourism based on whale shark watching has increased dramatically in the last few years, and government agencies have taken steps to protect these magnificent animals so the species will not be harmed. Well, the biggest threat would be unsustained uh, tourism practices, unsustainable tourism practices, and uh, on two sides. One, the direct interaction, the observation practice, but on the other hand, the development along the coastline in the region, which would create more pollution, it would create more traffic, more boats, and all of that would have an impact on the whale shark. There are strict rules against scuba equipment being used to view them in the area, and local guides have been trained to give tours that are as safe for the whale sharks as they are for their human visitors. One of the things I think that's absolutely critical to managing whale shark tourism in any space worldwide is actually limiting the number of operators that interact or that are allowed to interact with whale sharks. Here on Holbosch, the local community, government, conservation groups, and marine scientists have all worked together for a sustainable and successful protected area, home to the vulnerable and beautiful whale sharks. To restore the ocean, the blue heart of the planet, we need a global network of marine protected areas, hope spots, like Jean Ballon, large enough to save and restore the ocean which supports not only the whale shark, but our own life here on Earth. <laughs>